everyone, this is Tosha and you're watching Geo's Q&A session. First of all, I'd like to wish all of you lovely ladies out there a very happy Women's Day. And this session will be a really special session and it will be just for you. And for that, we have one of the most celebrated physicians and gynecologists, Dr. Neena Sarkar over here with us today. And I welcome you ma'am and a very happy Women's Day to you. Thank you and said to you. The willingness to listen, the patience to understand, the strength to support, the heart to care, and just to be there, this is the beauty of the lady. So happy Women's Day to everyone. I strongly believe women are the most powerful and strong pillar of the society, and I'm highly honored to be a part of it. Those were some really beautiful lines by ma'am. And now let's get started about the topic. So uh, we'll be discussing about maternal health. Now when the term woman comes into play, the word mother also is a synonym to that. For that matter, we'll be talking about the new we, to be mothers. And now, I'll ask my first question to ma'am. My first question is, um, what are the symptoms or what are the uh, signs that a lady displays when she's uh, expecting a baby? Yeah, there are some symptoms are there, definitely. Uh, one may have that symptoms, one may not have also. The nausea or morning sickness, one of them. Then the low back pain, then the frequency urination, excessive white discharges, then breast pain, and apart from that, mood swinging is a very common problem in pregnancy. Okay. So these are all uh, common symptoms and signs. But one may have these symptoms, one may not have also. So there is no specific thing for everyone. And every pregnancy is different for everyone. Okay, so uh, there may be differences. Okay. So when the term pregnancy comes to come into play, so uh, the term prenatal care also exists somewhere. So I want to know what exactly is prenatal care and uh, what is what, what makes it so important? Prenatal care is the care during pregnancy period, okay? This is a whole nine months take, uh, care is uh, called prenatal care. Once the lady is pregnant, uh, he ha she has to be there uh, in the physician's or obstetrics uh, chamber for some, uh, you know, that uh, blood tests, some uh, suggestions, some advices, which is mandatory in every pregnancy stage or every pregnancy trimester. So for this reason, they should uh, visit a doctor at least once or twice in every trimester. Okay. So, um, because now it is very nuclear family, you know that. Uh, and we don't want any abnormal baby or anything, any complications during pregnancy. So that's right. why. Right. So, um, so we know uh, that a pregnancy is divided into three times. Three times. So there might be, uh, a you know, guidelines or a conduct for every uh, trimester and such. So I want to know. Uh, let's start with the first trimester. What are the guidelines or the conduct which uh, make sure that the first trimester is healthy? Yeah. The thing is that in first trimester, so so the several questions are there on their part because they are newly mother. So they have so many queries. I always entertain all of my patients to ask me whatever they, uh, whatever is there in their mind, okay? And uh, I must say they should be positive and they should be very, you know, uh, normal activities should be there rather for every woman, uh, pregnant woman. Uh, Idle main mind is always a devil's workshop. So if they're walking, they should continue the walk. Okay, and uh, do a little bit of exercises, yoga if possible, normal food habit, two, every two hours is more frequently is the norm here, and at least three to four liters of water intake because, you know, gut motility will be decreased by the pregnancy hormone, so constipation is a very common phenomenon. So to overcome that symptoms, they have to have proper water intake and food very rich in high fiber, so high fiber. I mean, uh, high fiber rich foods are recommended highly to avoid that constipation. Okay, and uh, what about the second trimester? Uh, so many things are there, and uh, they should go to a, a obstetrician for at least their diabetic status, their thyroid status, their parasitic status. All these are very much mandatory, you know, to know uh, because that can lead us to a very abnormal thing. So, at least in first trimester, they go, should go for a uh, 
thalassemia status, diabetic status, and thyroid status, and along with that, blood group is very important. If there is any uh, blood negative mother who is married to a blood positive uh, group positive uh, father, there can be disaster. So they should aware of their blood group, and accordingly treatment has to be given to them. Okay. And in second trimester, you know, uh, in second trimester, uh, 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 after 26 weeks, diabetic tendencies are highly, uh, it's a complication, I must say. So, uh, diabetic oral glucose tolerance test after 26 weeks is very much recommended. Along with that, ultrasonography, whether the and abnormality scans are there, are uh, highly recommended. If the elderly mother is there, because nowadays uh, late marriage is a problem. So elderly mother is there, so sh they should go for this uh, NT scanning or they should go for abnormality scan along with a triple marker and quadruple marker test. Okay. So yeah. all these are recommended and you know, okay. what about the third trimester? Right, third trimester only that uh, ultrasonography, is, it's not mandatory. If we are uh, seeing that the growth is not according to the uh, weak or uh, fundal height is not matching, that time we will recommend for that. And if people are going for normal delivery, sometimes we need to do the ultrasonography to see the location of the pregnancy, placenta rather, if uh, patients are going for normal delivery. Mm -hmm. And for this thing, only ultrasonography. Mm -hmm. And in third trimester, usually if they are not having any high pressure related problem, diabetes problem, then no blood tests are usually recommended. Right. So, um, when you talk about pregnancy, also with uh, with time, we have also seen that there have there are some complications which yeah. usually creep up uh, in a pregnancy or entire process. So uh, I want to know what are the common complications which you come across generally with your patients during pregnancy. One may have high pressure. Mm -hmm. Uh, one may have diabetes, one, ha one may have liver disorder like a uh, cholestasis problem. Mm -hmm. some, some, some may have placenta premium, means the placenta is their low lying placenta. They may have bleeding on and off mm -hmm. the whole trimester. Mm -hmm. Then uh, some other complications like uh, if someone is having any, you know, um, what do I say, this uh, thyroid problem, they, they should go for the thyroid drugs and. Uh, all these are, it, it's a, a vaginal infection, definitely. Mm -hmm. There should not be any itching problem, there should not be any foul spell in the vaginal discharge. All these are little things they should be aware of and they should uh, consult a doctor for these things. Do these uh, complications make uh, it a high-risk pregnancy? Definitely, high-risk pregnancy if they are hypertensive, diabetic, and chance of uh, abnormalities in the babies are much more common. Mm -hmm. Some growth retardations are common. So, like a deficiency or the feet inside the sac, they may decrease with the complications. So, liver cholestasis, they may lead, uh, they may, uh, they may lead us to IUD, intrauterine fetal death even. Mm -hmm. So, all these things are okay. has to be uh, kept in mind. Right. Now, uh, coming to the uh, process of delivering a baby. So, mm -hmm. we come across two terms. One is normal delivery, yeah. and second would be cesarean. Yeah. So normal we understand, but what is cesarean delivery and when it is recommended? Cesarean nowadays, you know, people, uh, especially the young uh, mother, they don't want to bear the labor pain. This is one of the choice nowadays, the patient's choice, definitely. So apart from that, if the head is uh, catholic or low, low, then uh, if there is no complication, if they want to bear the uh, normal labor pain. Then always they should go for normal. Mm -hmm. And if there are the complications like if the placenta previa is there, mm -hmm. if the head is uh, up or breech condition with breech presentation is there, if other complications like vaginal infections, right. okay, mm -hmm. so that time they should go for the cesarean. Right. Okay, and there, if there is any, you know, this disproportion, careful of pelvic disproportion, it is actually we have to give the trial for normal delivery. If the baby is not coming with time, we have to make a chart like that. Mm -hmm. If there is any problem, then we should recommend the cesarean se section. Otherwise, uh, trial is the best answer for normal delivery right. and uh, the problem we have to. Right. 
Um, so, uh, my uh, question to you would be, uh, see, in this entire process of pregnancy, there has to be a nutritional guideline for mm -hmm. the mother, uh, specifically what they should or shouldn't have. So, uh, can you suggest some of the things which Actually, they should... Actually, they can consume everything if they want. Okay. Only excessive sea fish are not recommended because of high level of mercury. And they should not uh, have these cold rings which is having preservatives, you know, now these fertilizers are uh, available uh, 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 in meat street, they are cold rings also. So, and the preservative, canned thing, canned fruit, all these things should be avoided because there is no study report for the preservatives. And apart from that, they can consume whatever they want to have. But if they want, don't want to put on weight, more, put more, more weight, then they should uh, concentrate on protein. Mm -hmm. Protein, uh, high protein rich diet that will not lead us to obesity. Right, right. And uh, half an hour exercises or yoga will be helpful for them also. Mm -hmm. So, small frequent meal along with this high protein is best for them. So, uh, my last question to you would be what is that one thing that you want to suggest to all the to be mothers right now? Definitely, uh, pregnancy is not at all a disease. So, you should enjoy it thoroughly and be positive and uh, definitely uh, you should consult a doctor during this period just to avoid the complications and have a normal healthy diet don't go for supplementary things I don't recommend so that normal natural diet I, I, I must say so that is the most, the most important thing I think okay. So that was a really informative session and uh, thank you ma'am and this is a small token of appreciation from our side and uh, I hope you guys like this video so give it a thumbs up and also you can leave a comment and please share the video and also follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube and Instagram pages and we are glad to have you today. Bye bye. Thank you.